to Oncology Podcast News. I'm your host, Valerie Lynn. Although cancer of the esophagus is rare, it's very aggressive. It's the seventh leading cause of cancer-related deaths in American men. The chance of survival after surgery alone for an advanced cancer stage is poor. Only 20 to 40% live for up to five years. Researchers now report that adding chemotherapy or chemotherapy and radiation treatment before surgery has significantly better results than surgery alone. Studies have suggested that calcium and vitamin D may decrease one's risk of breast cancer. Recently, researchers addressed this relation among 10,000 premenopausal and 20,000 postmenopausal women. The study showed that during a follow-up period of 10 years, a higher intake of calcium and vitamin D was associated with a lower risk for breast cancer among premenopausal women. However, the risk was not lower in postmenopausal women. A study recently published in the Journal of Clinical Oncology suggested that high vegetable and fruit intake in conjunction with physical exercise may help extend the lives of women with breast cancer. A study performed on 1,490 women diagnosed and treated for early stage breast cancer showed women who consumed five or more daily servings of vegetables and fruits and also performed physical activity equivalent to walking 30 minutes six days a week lived significantly longer than those who did not. This advantage was seen in both obese and non-obese women. That's all for this edition of Oncology Podcast News. I'm Valerie Lynn. Thank you for listening. In next week's edition, we'll examine a paint that coats and identifies cancer cells and also review patterns of cancer in Asian Americans.